Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. And today is going to be my May favorites. I can't believe the month of May is already gone. You know, this has been a very, you know, trying, exhausted month for me. Uh, my allergies have just taken over. But on that note, uh, I have switched my meds, so hopefully, you know, everything's going to start picking up. But to think that school's out, or at least it's out here for my son, you know, maybe it might not be, you know, out wherever you guys are, but we didn't really have a bad winter here in Illinois this year, so they didn't miss any days, you know, for snow, and so they got out. Yesterday was their last day, and I'm one of those mommies that's, yes, no more school. You know, although I'm still, I get up early, I'm an early bird, it's just, I hate the school mornings. I don't, you know, dealing with a grouchy kid, all that, but I just, I can't believe we are halfway gone of 2017. So I kind of hope the summer slows down and we get to enjoy it. I mean, summer is like my favorite. But today, we are going to talk about some of my favorite makeup products. Some of the things I have to talk about is kind of maybe beauty, skin, you know, skincare related. But it's things that I've really been enjoying this month. Some of the things that I'm going to talk to you guys about, um, I did a haul video a couple weeks back and it's kind of going to give you guys an update on some of those uh, products that I purchased, whether I liked them, whether I didn't. So let's just, I've rambled on enough, let's get on into the video. And I'm going to start with skincare, it's closest to me. Um, I found this, it's called Mesquite. Ology Aqua Full Easy and Quick Pouch Hydrating Pack. Now, I purchased this at Walmart, and it is a ultra hydrating sleeping overnight pack. Guys, this is wonderful. I, I got, the way the top is made, can you guys see this right here? You like break the seal, and then the top will go back down in it. I love this. It, I used it, I got actually I got four uses out of it, and when you pour it out into your hand, it's like a thick white cream, but once you go to rub it on your face, it like melts into the skin, and it becomes like a clear coating on your face, and you sleep in it, and then in the morning you wash it off. My face feels so hydrated and so just Re, real live in the mornings when I wake up on the mornings I've used it. It says use it two or three times a week. I used it about three days in a row because I really felt like my face needed dehydration and then I kind of started doing like it said but I've had amazing amazing results with this. I would highly recommend this to you guys and I only got it. I got it for like two bucks at Walmart. And next is this Collagen Hydrogel Gold Mask for all skin types. This is what this one looks like. This was a very tidy, tightening, you know, hydrating mask, but it's a sheet mask. In a sense, it's like a rubber sheet mask. I didn't like this. For the simple fact, it came in two pieces, and so you know if any of you guys that full with sheet mask you know it comes in a whole piece this one stopped right at my nose so I had a piece that went from my head to my nose and then from my nose to my chin I couldn't keep it together you know this piece wanted to slide down this piece slid down but as far as what it done yeah it hydrated me you know did it brighten did I see any tighten I didn't see any kind of those results but I just, I didn't like the layout of this mask, so if it come maybe all together, I would say, yeah, I would recommend it, but as this two-piece mask, I did not enjoy this product. And then next is the e.l.f. Hydration Moisturizer. Now, I had picked this up when e.l.f. first came out with skincare products, and I felt like the moisturizer that they had was just really like lightweight when I put it onto my skin it like absorbed so fast I really couldn't tell I had used a moisturizer but I wanted to pick it up again I picked it back up to try it out again and they have reformulated this this is you know it comes with a pump it does have a pump which I love but I think I paid six dollars for it I'm really liking this moisturizer it's not really heavy so it's great to put on like I use this after I do my skincare in the morning when I go to put my makeup on this is the moisturizer that I use 
I'm really, really enjoying this. And if you guys are looking for a daily moisturizer, now it doesn't have any SPF in it. So, you know, if you are looking for one with SPF or whatever, or if you do use this, then you will have to use a SPF, you know, in conjunction with it. But this is a great daily moisturizer. And then now let's talk about a primer. I don't even know if this is a primer. It doesn't say that it's a primer. I didn't even know this existed in my store. This is the Garnier 5 Second Blur Skin Renew Instant Smoother. And I found this in like actually where the um, like moisturizers and stuff is in my Walmart. And I came across it and, you know, began to look at it and read it. I've been using this as a face primer and it really feels in my pores. I'll show you guys the consistency of it is just like a you know pore filling you know it comes out like this and it, you can see it it just it smooths all the fine lines um, you know on it's it's not thick but I put it in my lap lines you know it feels in my pores but the only thing that I will say about my pore area I have to tap it in twice. You know, when you put a pore filler in the pore filler area or, you know, your troublesome area, you should always pat it in. When I use this, I do have to pat it in and then get some more and pat it back in twice for it to completely blur out my pores. But this is wonderful. I think I only gave like four bucks for this giant tube. So, you know, if you guys are looking for a good pore filler that's cheap, you get a lot of product. This is one full ounce. This is amazing. i am really been enjoying this. And then on to foundation. The new CoverGirl foundation. This is the Vitalist Healthy Exler foundation with vitamins and broad spectrum of SPF 20. Now I have the shade Nude Beige and Buff Beige. I couldn't find my correct color. That's the only thing that I, I would have to complain about this foundation. When I first self tan, this is a perfect match. But then like two days, I kind of need to use this, but like the day after, I kind of have to mix these two together to play with them. That's the only thing, you know, CoverGirl just needs to work on their color selection. But as far as this formula, this is great, guys. Um, it is a, I'm going to say a high medium coverage. You know, it's not thick. You can see it kind of runs there on my hand. Um, it is the perfect consistency. It is a natural finish. It's, it, it is an illuminating kind in a way, but it's not that illuminating foundation that is, you know, for us people that have oily skin, we can wear it and by the end of the day, I don't look like an oil slick. I still, I have a little bit of oil coming through, you know, but it makes my skin look healthy, like that healthy, natural glow. So, you know, still the Sonia Kashuk is my holy grail, but I've really, really been enjoying this month, and I think I paid nine, ten bucks for this, so if you guys are looking for a good foundation, I would highly, highly recommend this foundation. And another foundation I've really been enjoying is this number seven, Lift and Illuminate Foundation. Now, I purchased this and hauled it in my Ulta haul. I've really, really been enjoying this foundation. And actually, I've been mixing a little bit of this in with this foundation because I got the color Calico. And to me, it's a little like gray toned. Uh, you know in its color you guys can see there it is like gray color and it just I have learned that I can't wear it on its own you know there's no way that I can wear it on its own whether I'm self tanned whether I'm not self tanned but when I mix a little bit of this in with the nude beige you know like when I need to tone it down a little bit it works perfect and it gives me just a little bit more of that luminosity glow that healthy summer beautiful skin so if you guys are looking for a good illuminating foundation I would highly recommend this one and for under eyes I've really been battling the under eye you know circles this month and I went back and rediscovered my Becca uh, this is actually called the Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is a great under eye corrector. It's that really pretty peachy tone. And it does brighten the under eye. 
but I honestly think, you know, it it conceals most of all. But now, when I use this, I do go in with like a flat concealer brush, and I put very, very little just right in the dark hollows of my eyes. I don't put this all under or just a little bit right here. That way it doesn't crease. You know, when you use an under eye corrector, it's not intended to be used heavily. The the more, it is a kind of a product, the you know, the, the least amount, the better off you are, but I've really been enjoying this. And also my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I, I love this concealer way back in the day and it kind of got pushed back into my collection, but I rediscovered it this month and I remembered why I repurchased this so many times. This is a wonderful, wonderful full coverage concealer. But with this, one thing that I've learned this month playing back around with it, when I go to set it with a pressed powder, it will crease on me. So I do have to set this with a loose powder, but it is full coverage. It's a thick consistency, so a little bit goes a long way. If you guys are familiar maybe with like the Bye Bye Under Eyes, it kind of reminds me of that. You know, you can see right there, it is a very, very, very thick consistency. So, you know, I recommend applying it with a brush. You know, I don't do the whole triangle with this. I only do right under my eye, my problem area to cover it up. That's all that I use it for. And so I really enjoy it. I would recommend it to you guys. And for powders, I hauled this for you guys. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder. Oh my gosh, guys. You know, to I am a very heavy makeup collector. You know, I'm a beauty guru. So for me to hit pan, do you guys see that pan? In what, a month? That's amazing because I have so many pressed powders, loose powders. I don't, you know, I try to use them all so, you know, they don't just sit in my collection. Since I purchased this, I can't reach for another powder. This is a very smooth, finely milled powder. And when I put this on, you know, to feel its texture, it kind of makes, it just, it feels airbrushed. You know, I don't know if you guys can see it there on my finger, but when I put this on, it like melts into my skin. I don't have that powdered look on my face. So if you guys are looking for a pressed powder, I would highly recommend checking this one out. It is wonderful. And for loose powders, I have rediscovered my IT Cosmetic Bye Bye Pores. This is an amazing under eye setting powder. And when I go to set my under eyes, I kind of set this area also, like where I put the concealer in the V shape. And it completely blurs out my pores. It blurs out any imperfections that I have. This is a very finely milled powder. It is very lightweight. And I would highly recommend it to you guys. Maybe those of you that have troubled skin, or you just can't find the right powder to look good on your skin, give the E Cosmetic line a try. They make a wonderful, wonderful um, pressed powder as long with a loose powder, but I've just rediscovered this this month and I've really been enjoying it. And now we're gonna move on to some blushes. Um, I hauled these Milani blushes for you guys and they are phenomenal. I got Romantic Rose and Tea Rose. Uh, the swatches of these were horrible, if you guys remember, those of you that, you know, have been following along with me, you guys remember these swatches were horrible, and I told you then, guys, don't always rely on swatches, you know, a product replies better sometimes with a brush instead of a finger swatch, and these are definitely one of those products, I did try to give you guys a swatch, you can see right here on Romantic Rose, it's very patchy, it's very blocky, but guys these applied on the skin they smooth out they're very blendable and I would highly recommend them these line of Milani brush blushes I enjoyed the bake ones but these are awesome also and I also hauled this wet n wild color icon ombre blush in the color the princess daiquiris and I thought this one was going to be too light on my skin tone, but when I twirl my blush together, if you guys can see, you know, it's ombre. It goes from light to dark to the darkest, and it's very, very like a pale, peachy, pink coral color, 
and it gives my cheeks the right amount of flush of color if you guys can see it right there you know so on days I didn't you know wear a lot of makeup I just needed a little bit of color this is what I have gravitated towards and then these now I'm going to say these first two that Physicians Formula come out with the Natural Glow and the Plum Rose I don't like them they have no pigmentation this one is more of a highlighter the um, natural glow and this plum rose it just had to be built up build up build up to even get any color payoff I do not recommend those two for any skin tone I do not recommend those two but now the two new blushes that they have come out with vintage rouge and rosy pink guys these are gorgeous the color payoff is so much better they are very pigmented they're very smooth if you guys are familiar with the uh, butter bronzer these are that standard these are the standards and the payoff the color quality of the butter bronzers now this one is the rosy pink and this one is the Vintage Rouge. You guys can see there in the swatch. These are awesome. You know, they do kick up a little powder, but that doesn't bother me. If a product is good, you know, some kick up in the pan doesn't bother me. And for highlight this uh, month, I've really been enjoying the Milani Sunlight. Now, this comes with a blush, bronzer, and highlight, but I've only been using this really top shade right here as a highlight. I love it. It reminds me so much of a MAC highlighter, but I cannot think of what it's called, you know, of what it reminds me of. Um, it's beautiful. You know, it goes on the skin, and it's one of those highlights that it's not chalky, it's not too thick, it's that perfect glow on your cheekbones. And you can, you know, build it up to intensify it darker, or you can use it for that light, subtle glow during the day. So I've really been enjoying that. that. And then for contour this month, I've been using the Bronze Booster, this middle shade right here. It's kind of like a, you know, an ashy, taupey color. This has been the perfect uh, contour, and I have been using this one to set my under eyes. I like to use like a banana powder with the MAC Emphasize to brighten up my under eyes, but I have been enjoying this one. It's not um, like a, you know, a dark banana powder. It's kind of in between a dark banana powder and a dark cream color. Uh, it's right there but I've really been enjoying that to brighten up my under eyes and the contour shade I have really been enjoying now these are a lot harder stiffer powders you know they're not it's not going to show up there I try to give you guys a swatch uh, but then the um, you know the bronzer in here I find it way too warm tone it's orange on my skin I do not like it but since this came in my boxy charm. I haven't used anything else. You know, I reviewed this for you guys. I told you guys about it. And just like I thought, guys, this is an amazing palette. I enjoy the top colors. You know, I enjoy these highlights. I use these two to set my under eyes. And then I contour with this shade right here. Uh, these are wonderful powders. Those of you that got this in your boxy charm, if you've not played around with it, you know, I would highly recommend it. But now, those of you guys that did, you know, that don't get boxy charm, you can order this off the IBY. I don't know if it's IBY Beauty or IB Beauty. I don't really know how it is, you know, how the correct pronunciation it correct pronunciation is. I'll get it right in a minute. But go on their website, order this palette. It is phenomenal, phenomenal. And for bronzing this month, I have rediscovered my e.l.f. bronzing powder. Uh, I talked about this in my drugstore makeup starter kit, and it kind of made me go back, you know, gravitate towards it because it's summertime. And during the summer months, I like a glowy bronzer on my face. You know, I just think it's more prettier, you know, with the glowy skin. And so I've rediscovered this. I use the, wait, I'm backwards here. I use these two shades, which is a matte one and a glowy one, and I just twirl my brush in, and I, I've got it on today. I think it gives me the perfect bronze, glowy look, and I love it. 
And now, I'm sure this is, you know, going to come to those of you that's been following me, watching my videos, as no surprise, but this is a total fail. Total fail. The more I have begun to play with this palette, the more I have been very discouraged with it. I would no longer recommend this to you guys. I'm being honest, you know, and in this video, any of these products that I've mentioned that you guys love, that I've not liked, you know, these are just my opinion. I apologize, but this is just what works for me and my skin tone. But the first impression, I, I would have recommended this palette. You know, I think in that video I did recommend it. But guys, this powder and bl or this blush and bronzer in this palette is so blotchy, so streaky that I went back and looked on it. And I told you guys in that video that I had heard they had used a different ingredient. And I believe it is called mica, if I'm pronouncing that right, that they used on the blush and the bronzer. And they are so powdery. This is the blush in uh, Habicuous Bloom. The bronzer is Malibu Soleil. Here is um, Beach Nectar and Rose Gold. Even the highlighters in this palette, guys, is not Becca standards. If any of you guys are familiar with Becca products, you know this if you've purchased this palette. And, you know, just to be honest, you know, I wouldn't, I want to recommend things to you guys that I honestly love, that I am happy with. And I can't say spending $46 for this palette is something I would recommend. So I was very disappointed in that. Enough said. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's just move on. A eyeshadow palette I have been loving this month is my Tarte Pro Glow palette. Or my Tarte's Pro palette. I'm sorry. I love this palette. That's actually what I've done my eyeshadow look with today. And this color, this is what I have all over my lid. I absolutely love that color. On video, it looks a little different on camera because I used my um, Too Faced glitter glue and put that on and then went in with that on top of it. And I just, I love this palette, guys. If this is still available, I don't know if it is, but if you guys can get your hands on this palette, I would highly recommend this palette. And I've also been enjoying the Mor Morphe 25B. You know, you guys know that I am a, you know, I love my neutrals, I love my browns, and this palette has, whoop, that wasn't very nice of me. Anyways, like I was saying, this palette has it all. You know, Morphe is coming a long way. These shimmers, guys, in this palette are so buttery, so smooth, so creamy, and the color payoff is just unreal. Look at that unreal but it doesn't stop there the mattes are just as good these mattes blend out like a dream uh, you know I will say that when I put my brush in this they are not powdery you know they they don't kick up a lot of powder and for a morphe eyeshadow that's you know that's saying a lot morphe is really really working on their formula look at those mattes they are gorgeous um, you know, this was a limited edition palette. I got it back a couple months ago. But if you guys can get your hands on it, they have this mocha one, and they also have a a copper, I think it might be, or gold copper or something. I would highly recommend this palette. And also, I have to mention this palette this month. This is hands down my favorite. I guess I should show it to you this way. My favorite eyeshadow palette ever. And with the size collection that I have, you know, this is full of high-end eyeshadow palettes. My drugstore in the bottom. But to have this many eyeshadow palettes and an eyeshadow palette look like this, you know, that's saying something. That's saying that this palette is very, very well loved. If you guys have not tried the Modern Renaissance palette, I would highly, highly recommend it. I do have one here that is a backup that's brand new, just to show you guys how gorgeous it is. You know, brand new instead of my beat up one. Um, you know, this is the most gorgeous palette that I've, I've ever purchased. 
and I'm very well happy with it and you know I would recommend it to you guys and I'm not going to go on and on about it we're going to end there a mascara I've been loving. I received this in my Ipsy. And I told you guys then that I had really been wanting to try it, but I didn't want to bite the bullet. This is awesome, guys. This is what I have on today. You can see how long and voluminous that it makes my lashes. The wand is a really, really good bristle brush wand. I'm really been enjoying this, and I am going to purchase the full size of it. And some eyeliners. These I hauled for you guys, the Infallible Paints and the Rimmel Scandalize. I used these and like they just wouldn't go over shimmer eyeshadows. Like they would start to go over but by the time I got to the end of my eye they wouldn't go over it anymore you know and I would have to shake it up and draw it on my hand and it was just too much work. I don't recommend them. Don't like them. But now the Starlux Pro that I received in my Ipsy, this is a wonderful eyeliner. It always performs. I have no problem. This even glides on over the Stila uh, Magnificent Glitters. This goes right over it. And if you guys are familiar and you know, you know, it's hard to get an eyeliner to go over cross of those glitters. This is wonderful. Phenomenal. I love it. And some lip products I've been loving. This is the Jeffree Star Gemini. Love this, love this liquid lipstick. I love the doe foot applicator. I like how it kind of, you know, has the curve in it so it fits to my lips. This is actually the color that I've been wearing this whole video. It's smooth, goes on good, easy to wear. You know, it, does, it is not drying whatsoever love Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. I have a couple different ones and the ones in this formula I would highly recommend. And also the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. Most of the time I'll pair this with the Gemini liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star but today I just wanted that you know the matte look. But when I want a shimmery look on it I go for this Buxom Lip Gloss. I'll still give you guys a swatch of this one so you can see. Um, the Buxom Lip Gloss, you know, it's just a, you know, you're not really going to be, well, maybe you are. Um, it looks so pretty paired up. This is the Buxom Lip, and this is the Gemini by Jeffree Star. And it is a lip plumping. The Buxom is a lip plumping one. So you do get that tingly sensation on your lips, but it's not a lot. You know, to say that it plumps my lips, no, I don't think it plumps my lips, but it does wear a very long time over the Jeffree Star liquid lip and so I've really been enjoying that lip combo this month. And last but not least is this Mellow uh, that I received, it's called Nude, I received this in my Ipsy this month. This has been the perfect mauve nude color and you know to be just a regular lipstick this actually has great staying power. Now Granted, it doesn't stay, you know, like a liquid lip or this or that, but, you know, if I don't eat or drink, you know, if I just do, or, you know, I can drink but not eat like oily foods or something, this stays on for about four hours, and when it fades, it doesn't give you, you know, as some of us call it, the butthole mouth. It fades really pretty, you know, back on your lips, so, you know, if you guys can, you know, I, I really don't know nothing about this brand. I just received it in my Ipsy. So, but if you guys look up the brand, it is called Mellow, M-E-L-L-O-W, if you can see it right there. Um, you know, if you guys would be interested in it. And now I said last but not least, but I forgot facial sprays. The Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fit Fixing spray is great, keeps my oils at bay. I really enjoy this. And also the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. I wear this on a when I do my luminous looks. This sets in my makeup really good. The only thing that I don't like about it is the mist on this. And I just feel like, let me see if I can show you guys. Did you guys hear it or see it? I just feel like it like drenches my face. Like when I go to, it's like, you know, I don't, I don't like that. But uh, as all as a overall product, this is a wonderful setting spray. And the Makeup Revolution one, it's just that, you know, that just 
and it just misters, finely misters your face. Love it. And one that I am not satisfied with is this Physician's Formula Instant Ready Setting Spray. I don't like this. Um, every time, you know, and it's kind of like the, you know, it's more of a shh that comes out. But what I didn't like about this was every time that I used it, I would have big bubbles on my face. Like this would leave bubbles on my face you know like heavy spots of it and I would have to go back in with the beauty blender you know and pat my makeup back out and I've tried it several different ways methods and I just overall I wouldn't recommend it there are so much better drugstore you know options like you know the makeup revolution and this one was so much cheaper than this one so I would you know and with the oil control in this they also have one that isn't oil control you know it's just like a regular setting spray but you know I can be an oily beast so sometimes I do like a little oil control so that's it guys that's going to wrap up this favorites video uh, i love these type of videos that way i can share with you guys what i've been loving this month i would love to hear from you down in the comments what you guys have been loving this month you know maybe you guys have been loving products that i've not been introduced to yet you know products that i could pick up that way i could enjoy them and if you're new to my channel and you're just swinging by we would love you to hit that big red subscribe button down there and become part of our family we're growing at a great speed and i can't thank you guys enough for your support you know i love each and every one of you guys you're making my dreams come true just like i'm making so many of your all's dreams come true but that's it guys that wraps up this video and wherever you are on this thursday i hope you're having a wonderful day i love you guys and until next time bye guys